I've written a list of the things that you need to have in place to be an excellent trader. You need to have competence, and competency takes a longer time than most traders realize, even those who are sophisticated. As they get more sophisticated, they realize, wow, I thought I was so sophisticated, but actually I was just still a beginner. You also need to have a supportive community. I can't tell you or underscore how important this is. This is of critical importance because doing it alone is just not necessary today, and having a supportive, encouraging community can make or break you. Please do yourself the service to get that right out of the gate. I have one called Trader Hero Journey, and I'd love you to be a part of that Discord room, but go and find one no matter what. Emotional intelligence. You absolutely have to be an incredibly emotionally intelligent person. If you haven't done any work on your emotional intelligence, you're going to be just finding pothole after pothole. Be sure you develop this because it is a critical foundational piece. Deep and wide respect and understanding for risk. This too gets completely undervalued, but really understanding the importance of risk, the mathematical equation of the risk that you can and cannot take is of critical importance if you want to be an excellent trader. An ability to be in discomfort. If you can't deal with it when somebody steals a parking spot in front of you, how the hell are you going to deal with it when the market or somebody on the other side of your trade steals something from you? Being able to be with discomfort is an incredibly important foundational piece. And if you don't have that already, you have to really ask yourself, are you cut out to be a trader? An ability to not take loss personally. There are traders who talk about how low their win rates are and that they're fine with that because they know that loss is part of the game. But if you take loss personally, if you really feel insecure with it, if you're somebody who's going to focus just on the PL and just on whether it's a red day and not be able to sleep, you have to really question, am I really up for this? Because that is part of the journey. Also, fortitude. Do you have it? Do you have a strong stomach? Do you have the concept of patience? Do you have the concept of time? If you don't, again, you have to ask yourself, am I actually up for this? Do you have a sense of humor? Do you take yourself way too seriously? Whew, if you do, that's going to be costly. Can you hold it loosely? Like 38 Special saying way back when I was in high school, can you hold it loosely? Not too tight and not too w wiggly. You need to be able to hold on and not let go. Are you able to have humility? Are you able to have tolerance? Are you able to have a growth mindset? Do you have a love of the game? Do you have a sense of curiosity? Are, we, are you always looking to understand the market better and to improve your skills? Are you open-minded? Are you awake? Are you aware? Are you willing to see the shadow side to yourself, the places where you still get triggered, the places where you react instead of respond without defending them, but a, a willingness to say, oh, look at that. I still have some work to do on myself. Are you able to take 100% responsibility for everything? anything that happens with you and the market? Are you able to be discriminating and not just take trades willy-nilly, but to actually spend the time, the hours, the screen time at getting your strategy honed and making sure it's as flawless as it possibly can be? from a human being? Are you able to voluntarily sit in discomfort? These are the questions you have to ask yourself. Are you comfortable not knowing? Are you curious? Are you able to be a seeker? Are you able to change your mind without a funeral? Are you able to always remain unattached to the outcome? These are the questions I really hope you'll ask yourself because all of these are things that can make or break a trader at being an excellent trader.